Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I transfer audio reel-to-reel -reel onto my Mac. Now, there are two software programs that I need to use, plus an interface to be able to do this. The first is called MasterCap, which came with this interface called Video Recorder DVD Maker. On one side, it has RCA cables, and the other side, it has a USB, which goes directly into the Mac. And then what I need to use is called Audacity. Now, unlike the Ion tape to PC, which you can just plug directly into the Mac with Audacity, you do need this interface. Well, at least I need this interface to be able to make this magic happen. In the Mac, I am running El Captain. So let's get started. Here we are at my reel-to-reel -reel player. The first thing we're gonna do is get it set up. So I'm gonna hit the power. Now what I'd like to do is the tape runs underneath like this. I like to be able to see where the tape is going to make sure I have it lined up correctly. So I take this cover off like that to expose where the tape is gonna run. I'm gonna run it right through like this. Through the wheel, up and over, and down and under, and hold it with my finger. I'm gonna wind it up just a little bit like that. So now we have the reel-to-reel -reel ready to go. Most reel-to-reel -reel players have three speeds, a seven and a half, a three and three fourths, and a one and seven eighths. A very professional reel-to-reel -reel player will have a fourth speed to it, but you don't come across that too often when you do the jobs that I do. So we're just going to assume at the moment that this is going to play at seven and a half. If it doesn't, then you have to switch it down to find the correct speed. You're going to hear immediately if it's the correct speed or not. This particular model also has a track selector, which is one through four, stereo, which is both, obviously, and track three and two. What happens is you can play it one way, and then you hit reverse, and then you can play the other way for a secondary recording. To be able to get this going into the Mac, I have to use the headphone jack, which is right here. And I use this adapter for the RCA. And I'm going to plug the RCA right in. Just like that. And I'm going to take my video recorder DVD maker. I'm going to plug it into the back of my Mac. I'm going to leave this on the stereo selector first because I'm just not sure what track this is going to be playing on. The wheels over here, you have your start and you have your play and forward and reverse. And to get good audio, the right levels of audio, the volume control is here. And this is what's going to determine how it's going to sound on the Mac. So let's jump over to the Mac and get that interface going. Okay, we are now on the Mac, and the first thing I want to do is engage that master cap, which is the video recorder DVD maker interface. You can see that there's a little red light highlighted, so we know that this is active. I'm going to find the master cap, which is, I just typed an M. There it is. I'm going to hit enter. First thing you're going to see is this green screen because it wants to start recording through the master cap but we want to use the audacity so i'm just going to close that box if you leave it open you're going to get a lot of feedback so now that master cap is open i'm going to go to audacity which is the headphones icon right here i'm go uh file save project as real to real test now I already have a folder created called reel to reel so we're just going to hit save. Up here in the interface we see 
master AV cap or built-in microphone, you want the uh, master AV cap stereo. And originally we had this on the seven and a half speed. And on my machine, I'm gonna hit the play. Okay, you can see that it's really loud. So I need to adjust it with my volume on the real player. I'm gonna turn it down. And watch those levels. That looks really good. But you know what? It sounds fast to me. So I'm going to click it down to three and three fourths. That sounds much better. Sounds really good. Okay, I'm going to stop it right here. Since this is demonstration purposes only, now I want to go back and I want to find that fast speed that I was at. Here's all the loud. It's just, hypothetically, we don't need any of that. All you do is select and drag over and hit delete. I use this icon right here, the selection tool to do that. Hit save if you would like. There we go. Now, because this is a pretty low recording right now, you can boost the audio. So I'm going to go to select all. Or you can do, you know, command A to select. Go to effects. You have all these different effects options through here. We're just going to do amplify. It is saying 8.546. Don't allow clipping because clipping will distort it. If you allow clipping and then raise this bar here, raise this over, it's going to really distort everything. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to just hit cancel. Effects, amplify. Don't allow clipping. It's an eight point thing. And it just popped it right up and it made the loudness. Sounds really good. Under effects, there's so much you can do in here, like click removal if you want to, but any of these kind of effects, like noise reduction or click removal, it will not only take the clicks or the audio out, like the bad audio out, but it's going to affect the overall sound. So you really want to be careful with that. So now that we're done, we can hit save again if we want. I'm just going to export it out as an MP3. You can do a wave if you want, but MP3. And I'm just going to save it right in the folder that I created. So that was it. Pretty easy, right? Very basic. I only used a couple small tools. I didn't get too elaborate because this is just a basic transfer of audio reel to reel. There's a lot more to Audacity that you can get into to be able to clean your audio and make things better. If there's clicks and pops, you can adjust things like that. If you don't have this kind of equipment and you would like to have me do it, please just contact me. And uh, you can also go to my website, www.coloradospringsvideo.com. There is an order form on that site, which you can fill out and send me your media if you would like to have me do it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. Have a wonderful day.